Hi everyone, my name is Suganti and I'm from 2006 batch. So today uh, I would like to talk about the God who cares. So let's begin by singing the song Leave It There or oh, Leave It There. I think it's a familiar song and many of you might have know, known this song. So you can join along with me and you can sing along with me. Today we will meditate from a small portion from 1st Samuel chapter 1. So we all are familiar with Hannah, the story of Hannah. So we can see that Hannah had a problem that she did not have children for a very long time. And Penina was constantly troubling her. So Hannah was so much in despair and she was so much worried. And she went to God's presence and she cried in the presence of God. So we can see here Elkanah, her husband, is asking her some few questions. Okay, we can see that in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 8. He's asking her, Hannah, why are you crying? Why are you not eating? Why is your heart grieved? So he's asking these questions, these three questions. So this history or this thing is not just simply it is not written. We can see how a loving husband is asking these questions to his wife. So even man may out of love they may inquire about us. They may ask us questions and they may try to help us. But still they cannot satisfy our needs. Elkanah was only able to ask her why are you crying? 
why is your heart grieved why you are not eating but then he was not able to fulfill her needs so even we many times we may also go through such path we may also have so many burdens and so many uh, things that are troubling us but our god is more than elkana he is also a god whenever we cry from wherever whichever corner we cry unto him god will not just leave us like that you know he will definitely come to us and he will hear our cry and he will answer our prayers we can see so many examples in the bible see when hagar when she cried okay god heard her cry and he opened a well for her we can also see the baby moses okay when he was left alone in the river nile god heard the cry of the child and he sent pharaoh's daughter to rescue him and also we see god heard the cry of hezekiah and he extended his life and also we can see god heard the cry of david of nehemiah of daniel and so many th- people we can see the whole bible we can see and also here we can see that god heard the cry of hanna god remembered her and he blessed her so uh whatever may be the problem you no know, when you cry unto god god will definitely answer we have a spiritual elkana we can see in first peter chapter 5 verse 7 cast all your burden upon him because he cares for you okay and today i would like to tell two meanings of this name elkana so the first meaning is god gives so God is the giver of all good things those who look to him are radiant their faces are never covered with shame so ask and it will be given to you so God is the giver of all good things and two he is the possessor of the whole heaven and earth and everything belongs to him so he is the possessor of everything so we can come boldly to him we can ask him and we can receive all the goodness from him so i whatever may be your needs ask god and god will provide everything for you cast all your burdens on him because he cares for you let's pray our gracious heavenly father we thank you and we praise you oh lord thank you that you are a god who comforts us who cares for us sir, who cares for us and who provides all our needs lord jesus right now also whoever is going through this path of tears lord have mercy on them and lord whatever may be their needs or whatever may be their cry heart's desire lord you fulfill all those desires lord i commit everyone into your hands be with us and bless us in jesus name i pray amen thank you